Ohio, we're headed to Incarceration Music and Tattoo Festival, featuring three stack nights of rock and metal with your headliners, Corn, Breaking Benjamin, and Disturbed. Support Rockfeed. Get your tickets at the link in the description, and we'll see you at Incarceration. All right, we're here with Jaden from Metal Lords. This is so exciting. I've got to tell you, I was really impressed when I learned that uh, this movie was coming out because we don't really get to see, uh, you know, a very well done film centering on heavy metal and the music that we love so much. And so I was excited from just that premise. But then over the weekend, I actually got to see the film and you all delivered. It was very, very well done. Uh, So I just wanted to commend you on that. Uh, What was it like working on this film? Did you go into this with uh, a knowledge of metal or was something you kind of discovered going into uh, working on this film? Um, I I knew a little bit about about metal, but I I wasn't super, super knowledgeable. But um, I definitely fell in love with with the the genre through through the the filming of this. Um, And I mean, to to learn how to drum... uh, and perform metal music is such a whole it, it, it's like a <laughs> i mean it, it was such a physical and visceral experience and very satisfying and, and um, yeah it was it, it's incredible for me you did such a great job and it was again the fact that they actually went to the lengths of licensing real metal music and their music is in the Um, You know, we're very much a metal channel here. So uh, I'm so excited to share with our audience this because it really is a true to form metal film. So you mentioned you actually had to learn some drumming to uh, to star in this film. Yeah, I had. Wow. uh, I never I I never played the drums before. um, And for about about a month before filming, um, I was practicing every day. Um, I had a. I had two teachers. I had Glenn Sobel, who's Alice Cooper's drummer, and um, and then wow. with Timmy Tim Tim Spitsticks, drummer for this punk band called Fear. So working with them and and um, like not only learning how to play the drums, which I needed that introduction, uh, um, that intro class, uh, but also how to look badass while playing the drums. <laughs> And you know how to like perform for the crowd, um, and how to how to put it, put my all into it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, and I like how in the film there's this sort of progression. You start off as this mer- very normal kid, very reserved kid, and by the end you're sort of kicking ass and and really living your metal dreams out. And and it's very noticeable the progression throughout the film. That sort of character development. I really really enjoyed that. Uh, you know, how, how long was of a process was this for you to learn the drums to get into the film? Was it because you you were really killing it uh, mm-hmm. in the movie? I mean, really impressive. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, um, I mean, to be honest, I was really I was focusing on like four songs, which I listened to hundreds of times <laughs> in that like four months process of of learning the drums and filming. Um but yeah, it was just a lot of, a lot of uh, learning war pigs and for whom the bell tolls and getting really into those songs. Um, so it's less about learning the drums as a whole, you know. Yeah, that's so cool to actually, uh, you know, you you really sold it well in the film and and it it came off as very authentic and you know a lot of times we we don't see movies where heavy metal was represented in such an authentic fashion and the writing was so good and it really is a triple a film and i'm so pumped i could see this becoming a very classic heavy metal film um because of the storytelling is great it's very much an underdog story uh and and sort of a coming of age film too and uh, what was your what led you to want to be involved in this film i imagine you there was some sort of a review process for you yeah, totally. I think um, I think the authenticity comes from from Dan just being a giant metal nerd <laughs> and being <laughs> so passionate about this this type of music. Like he, I mean, that's the reason all of all of that music is in there. And um, I I mean, 
for me, I, I just love the script and how natural it was and how funny these characters were uh, and how, how intricate and complex they were as well. Um, also, I really wanted to work with Peter. Um, he won, uh, yeah, his first movie, Raising Victor Vargas, is, is I mean, probably one of my favorite, like one of my favorite movies. I think it's so brilliant. Um, so I was just really attracted to the people attached and to the script and to the character. Yeah, and 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 that comes across in the movie so much. And uh, you mentioned the producer of the film being a huge metalhead as well, which was not something I was aware of. I was aware of his work, obviously, but I didn't know that he loved metal as much as he does. But it makes a lot of sense to me. You cannot write a film like this without having a genuine love for the culture of heavy metal. Yes, 100%. Yeah, and it, it, it shows. Yeah, it really does. How long did it take to to make this film? Um, we we worked from October to January. We shot in the middle of the pandemic, and we had um, we had a couple of uh, COVID scares, a couple shutdowns. So it was like it was longer than than anticipated, but um, worth it. And and yeah. then I was practicing the drums for a month before that. So, so quite, yeah, quite a bit of, quite a long process. One of my favorite parts in the film that I just, it had me cracking up was uh, there's this just badass chase scene in the yeah. film, just in the middle of the film, <laughs> so really high quality action sequence, basically. What was it like putting that together? And I don't know how these films are made. Do you, <laughs> are you actually in a car that's hauling ass when this is being done? No. <laughs> it's so <laughs> uncool to describe how we shot that scene. We're in a, <laughs> we're in a, 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 a car in a lot that's not moving, surrounded right. by green screens. And we're just like screaming <laughs> and I'm moving the wheel like this and so um but then yeah that's all it's all editing and music and um but it was still fun it was fun to to freak out with adrian in that car yeah you know when a band puts together an album at the end there's this real process where you know you kind of give it the car test and you go in there and you listen to it and it's this real special moment as an actor what's it like when you get to see you know, are they sending you edits as time goes on after the film's been produced? Or do you get to sit down one time at the end and really experiencing it, uh, the work that you put into this film? Um, well, I, it's always different. You get like a little peek doing ADR and voiceover. Um, but then, yeah, I watched this for the first time at its, at, at, with the final cut. Um, pretty recently, actually, a couple weeks ago. Um, and it's always such a, I mean, I don't, per, I personally hate watching myself. So it's always, I always have to get over that hump yeah. and like not totally uh, cringe every time I say something. Uh, but it's always a satisfying <laughs> thing watching, watching it all come together. Um, because you do think you do something and then a year goes by where when <laughs> the, director and the editor and the, everyone else is working so hard and you forget about it and do other stuff and then it comes back and to see everyone's effort and um i mean you, you become a little we became a family on this so to watch the final project product was was very very uh satisfying well i mean do you get do you are you have you been in this game so long where you're just kind of like okay because I mean, you've done some very big movies you've done some very awesome movies i'm genuinely a fan of your work um and uh do you like get really pumped do you like throw a party when this movie's done like how <laughs> i don't know i don't do that at all um uh well this is hard it's it's i mean it's netflix so everyone will see it at the same time yeah. usually that's that's what a premiere is for <laughs> and yeah. I'm family but um no i i don't i just want it to come out and then i'll I'll hide. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is. That is the cool thing about this film is, is it's such a quality film. But then I love the idea that I can just tell every everyone I know it can watch this movie and enjoy it. I can go, dude, you've got to see this movie. It's badass. And it really is. And I know literally everyone I know can go and watch this movie. And that's what's so cool about it. So uh, I, I just really 
found this movie to be cool. Now, are, were any of the other casts in the film were is was there anybody on there that was like crazy about metal? Um, let me think. Not, not necessarily. I mean, besides, uh, uh besides the the people who are metal gods right. show up in the movie. Besides them, really, no, no one. I mean, we just had Dan as our encyclopedia. So Adrian, uh, I believe that's his name, uh, who plays Hunter in the film. Was he? He he's he. I mean, not that he doesn't appreciate metal, but he wasn't like a huge metalhead. No, no, he wasn't. He, yeah, he's um, a super talented guitarist. Um, so he had, um, yeah, just a mu- just musician in general. So, um, but but we all had to like get into it together um, and sort of discover it and had to nerd out a little bit. Um, but yeah, no one really had a had a true appreciation for it, and and then we all fell in love with metal afterwards. Yeah, you and it was so. I was certain. I mean, great acting because I was like, oh, this dude, you know, he he definitely is. They picked this guy out of a crowd at uh, at a Slipknot <laughs> concert or something. That's uh, like, I love that. Yeah, really, really good uh, acting on both of your parts again. Um, and I just. Uh, I'm so excited for people to see. Like you said, this is something that I want to shout out to those that are watching too. I'm not going to spoil anything, but there are some really cool cameos in this film. Really cool cameos. And I think metal fans, there's no way you can't watch this film with the songs that are in this movie, the people that are in that you'll see in this film, and not just, I was jumping out of my seat. Like it exceeded my, I was already pumped about this, but it really exceeded my expectations. I think this is really a special movie uh, and and it is going to go on to be one of those kind of classic films for like metalheads. We hold on to these movies. We're like the pick of destiny where we have those movies that we go back to time and time again. And to me, that's what this film is for me as a fan. I mean, really, um, it just came off so well. And you guys should be really proud of the work that you've done because you did justice to a genre. We don't we don't get the Super Bowl halftime show. We don't get. Yeah. things like that. We don't get that mainstream recognition and you guys really, it's almost like an explanation of the culture for some, somebody who doesn't understand it. Yeah. Really. And that that's what makes the genre special. That's why people fall in love with metal. Cause it's not, it's never been mainstream. Um, and especially now actually for, for people my age, I mean, there's, I'm, I'm sure there's small groups of, of people who are really into it, but it's really not, it's really not all that popular, but, I mean, but once again, that's what, that's what makes it metal. Yeah. There's always been that underground element to it. It's never fully ever been that total mainstream thing. I couldn't agree more with that. And so I I just wanted to say again, uh, Metal Lords is coming out on Netflix. I cannot recommend this to you all enough. And I want to thank you so much for your time. And thank you for really putting the spotlight on this genre that we love so much and and doing it justice. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you, Jaden. Much respect. Appreciate it. Thanks. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.